Ya. Wake up. Noriko, wake up. Huh? Again, Kojiro? Uh, what time is it? Early. Listen, got some questions for you. No coffee. Here. Oh. Thanks. <sighs> this is nice. Glad you like it. Now, questions. Fine, go. Do you know a guy named Kenji? With a daughter, Momo? Uh, yeah, I know them. They're my neighbors, kind of. They live on the floor below me. That's right. You on speaking terms? Or less. Almost sweet. A nice girl. Kenji... We used to talk, but then... Well, I think he's lost respect for me. Let's leave it at that. I see. This is weird. How do you know those two? Went to your apartment yesterday, but tell why. You did? Had to collect clothes for you. Going upstairs, we saw Kenji get arrested by the police. Lots of cops. And the detective from TV. Detective? Wait, Kenji got arrested? Why? Don't know. They took him away in cuffs. Took Momo too. No. The detective. You're not talking about the one heading up the murder investigations, are you? It's him. Big guy. Fujikawa. Huh? Fujikawa? Yeah. Poor Kenji. I wonder why he got arrested. talking about okay <laughs> uh, right <sighs> listen carefully when this all started when corpse girl first told me to start killing i knew that running the website from my apartment was a risk i 
knew accessing the database of the deceased could be tracked by anyone watching me. I took certain measures to protect myself. To protect Corpse Girl's work. What did you do? I pinned everything on Kenji Ogawa. I used his internet service, his Wi-Fi. I used his address for registering my website. I used his name for every service I signed up to. Everything I did created a trail of breadcrumbs that would point to Kenji in the event that the authorities ever came looking for Corpse Girl. I'm impressed. Thank you. It finally paid off. <laughs> the police will either treat Kenji as the culprit, or release him once they figure out he's not who they're looking for. Either way, they'll be back to square one. And I'm off the hook. Sure, if you say so. Hmm? That's all well and good, but... I've been conducting a lot of work recently, since you stopped living in your apartment. What's your point? I've been logging to Corpse Girl's website from here, from the factory. You've been accessing that database of the deceased, too. Don't you think if the authorities trace that, they'll just come looking for you here? I'm... I'm using my cell service to connect to the web. I'm not using a dedicated internet connection. And I'm running my connection through a proxy to mask my IP address. That can't be traced, right? Oh no, but I'd be cautious if I were you. The cops will figure out Kenji's not guilty soon enough. Just you wait. Normal guy like that, he won't be able to give them any of the information they're looking for. Wouldn't be surprised if he gets released before the weekend. So? Hitting a dead end like that will only enrage the police. Especially that detective, Fujikawa. Don't you think they'll redouble their efforts after that? They'll surely do whatever it takes to catch the true culprit. <sighs> yeah, sure, I hear you, but... Corpse Girl really isn't the one they're looking for. The human removal service is behind most of the recent deaths. They don't know that. They only have eyes for Corpse Girl. You made her famous. Made her known in every household across Tokyo. She's as much at fault as the Human Removal Service. And you know it. If they catch you, let's just say you won't be let off the hook so easily. Gotta go. You good here? Yeah, I'm fine. Right. Later then.
Noriko won't let Tomoe walk away from this. Uh, can I help you? Tomoe in? She's, uh... Are you a friend of hers? Yeah. Um... This is an emergency. Really? Uh, hang on. I'll go get her. Kujiro? What the fuck are you doing here? Need a word. Hmm. How'd you get my address? <sighs> you know what? I'd rather not know. Tomoe, who is this guy? Why does he smell like... <laughs> Long story. Is he bothering you? Should I, um... Should I take care of him? Nah, it's all good. He's harmless. Mostly. I see. Need to talk. It's important. Fine, come in, come in. Him. He needs to go. Seriously? Yes, come on. What do you think I'm here to talk about? Ugh. Yeah, yeah, fair point. Shinya, can you, like, clear off for a bit? Tomoe, I want to know what's going on here. Just who is this guy? Is he an ex-boyfriend of yours? Because, because I'll, I'll fight him. You just watch me. No need for that. Not here to steal your girl. Just listen to him, Shinya. You've no need to worry. Fine then. I can tell when I'm not wanted. If anyone needs me, I'll be outside. What a catch. Shut up. You don't know him like I do. Okay. So what the fuck is this all about? I need to know. Have you told Noriko you're quitting? Nah, not yet. Surely you could've asked me that over noise. Prompts. Thought you might be in danger already. Danger? Why? I have a theory. Reckon Noriko will cut us up if we leave our merry band. <laughs> nah. Noriko and I are besties. She wouldn't hurt me. Don't act so certain. Noriko will do anything to protect herself. That neighbor of hers? The guy that got arrested? She set him up from the very start. Made him take the fall so she wouldn't become a suspect. You're shitting me. Dead serious. And... I don't think Noriko's working alone. Well, of course she's not. We're working with her. Not what I meant. Noriko. Noriko may not be the ringleader here like we assumed. She said, and I quote, when Corpse Girl first told me to start killing, end quote. <laughs> well, shit. I thought Noriko was Corpse Girl. She always calls herself that. In fact, she even admitted it to me once. Yeah, I remember it. I kind of suspected it, and I asked her about it, and she confirmed it. Sure about that? Uh, well, pretty sure, yeah. Interesting. <laughs> now I'm starting to doubt myself. Don't sweat it. Noriko does refer to herself as Corpse Girl. I'm sure of it. Right? I thought so. But I'm still uneasy about it. 
Someone convinced her to start killing. And she seems to think it was Corpse Girl. Ugh. I don't get it. Neither do I. But I'll get to the bottom of it. Right. For now, for your own safety, don't tell Noriko you're quitting. Seriously? I don't know how she'll react. What a drag. I really don't want to do this anymore. Be patient. Give me a bit of time. You sure you can sort this out? Yeah. Leave it to me. Thanks. Later then. Oh! You okay? He'll be fine. Get up, Shinya. I was... Uh, just... um... Gotta go. Bye. No luck. Sorry to rock up so late. I was awake. Okay. Bad news. Hit me. Morg's been plundered. Plundered? <laughs> what, are you a pirate now? <sighs> Wait. Your tone. You're not joking. No. Explain. All the cadavers have been stolen. Cold chambers are completely empty. Fuck! Yeah, my thoughts exactly. How could you let this happen? Me? I'm no security guard. Don't put this on me. <gasps> How am I supposed to acquire corpses now? How the fuck am I supposed to appease Corpse Girl? Who's Corpse Girl? What? Who is she? Don't act dense! I'm Corpse Girl! If you're trying to be funny, it isn't working. Now isn't the time. We've lost everything, Kojiro. I've got a couple of bodies here at the factory, but they're allocated to victims already. 
Corpse Girl gets any new requests, we won't be able to fulfill them. There, you did it again. You referred to Corpse Girl as another person. Can you stop messing around? Don't you see how serious this is? I do. So, what do we do? <sighs> what can we do? You'll have to break into another morgue. Start stealing corpses for me. No. What do you mean, no? Don't say no to me! I'd do just about anything for you. But sometimes, you need to know when to call it. There's no moving forward from here. Give up, Kojiro! I've come so far! Somebody stole the cadavers from the morgue. From my morgue. Somebody who knows what I'm involved in. It wasn't an attempt to stop what we're doing. What do you mean? It was a message. Whoever did it wanted to prove that they are more powerful than we are. Pulling several hundred stiffs from a morgue? All at once, without getting busted? That's something even we couldn't achieve. Someone knows our operation, inside and out. Someone knows what we do and how we do it. And they wanted to prove that they can do it better. The Human Removal Service. Who else? Damn it. Hope you can see the truth now. We can't continue with them in the picture. You're right. Our next move is to destroy them. Destroy the Herald. What do you propose? You said you'd do nearly anything for me. Right? More or less. Then... Hunt down Junpei Matsumoto. Again. He needs to reveal the identity of his leader. The Herald. Right. Didn't work so well last time. You were interrupted last time. Aoi got in the way, didn't she? Yeah. Tried to defend her boyfriend. You need to extract information from Junpei at any cost. When you're done, kill him. I have no problem with that. But if Aoi's present again, I'll have to back down. Aoi interferes, kill her. If I do this for you, I want something in return. What? Be with me. Me? I've never wanted you more. I'm in love with you, Noriko. In case that wasn't clear before. Okay. Take care of this issue for me, and you can call me yours. I'll be your girlfriend, or your wife, or your mistress. Whatever you want. My heart will be yours. Okay. I'm on it. Thank you, Kojiro. I'm putting my faith in you.
what the? Long time. You're crazy, man. Get away from me! Can I sit here? Hell no! Get out of here! Thanks. Stay back, babe. I got this. Thought you quit. Huh? I thought you quit this job. What? How would you know that? Forget it. No. Oh, you think you're hot stuff, right? Tailing me, beating me up, and now you're digging into my girl's business? The fuck is wrong with you, man? Excuse me for a second. Sorry, had to do it. Questions for you. You broke my nose. Shush. Haven't asked my question yet. What do you know about the robbery of the hospital morgue? I don't know what you're talking about. No, not the answer I wanted. You're going to give me the answers I want. Am I clear? You're not case. You're psycho! No. For my next question, how did you find out about my involvement with Corpse Girl? <laughs> it wasn't hard, man. You're not the most stealthy dude around, you know? Explain. You and that blonde gal girl, Tomoe Watanabe? You're not cautious enough. It's not hard to tell you when you drive that hunk of shit van around town, dropping dead bodies off to corpse girls' targets. I see. My next question, then. Do you know Corpse Girl's identity? <laughs> I think the real question is, do you? Wrong answer. Corpse Girl's identity? <laughs> Fine. Noriko Kurosawa. I see. Leave. Leave him alone. Hmm. We're not done here. Come back later. Leave. Everyone. Now. Don't kill me, man. I'll do whatever you want, you know? Please, 
I'm begging you. I've got my whole life ahead of me. Relax. Only one more question for you. What? What is it? Who runs the human removal service? Who is the Herald? I... I'm being completely honest with you, man. I don't know who he is. He wears his creepy-ass mask and never speaks. I need more than that. Who would know his identity? Shit. Um, look, man. The Human Removal Service. It's only the two of us. Me and the Herald. He recruited me online, you know? He makes me do his legwork. So, if I don't know who he is, no one does. Except him, of course. Not happy with that answer. Take a finger. Shit! No, dude, seriously! Ask me a different question! Please! Please! Glad you're out. Noriko. Enough. Why are you here? I overheard everything. It's enough information to use. Is it? You stole the corpses from the morgue. No. Yes. It was me. I robbed the morgue. Get out of here. Get Owie to bandage you up. And not a word of this to the police. Yes. We're just letting him go? Yes. Don't understand. You don't need to. What did you show him on your phone? Leave it, Kojiro. Put the knife away. We're leaving. a bit better. Fill me in. There's no need to kill Junpei. Why? He knows everything. Knows me. Knows Tomoe. He knows... you. Junpei Matsumoto will be dead by sunrise. I made a request, Kojiro. I see. I don't think Corpse Girl can take care of him. He knows our whole operation. What? No, I didn't make a request through Corpse Girl's website. What would be the point of that? Is the other website, the Human Removal Service. I made a request for the death of Junpei Matsumoto. Shit, of course. Why didn't I suggest that? The Herald is ambitious. His convictions are strong. Absolute. Just like mine. Like Corpse Girl's. Corpse Girl's convictions, huh? 
corpse girl would never reject a request. That's right. Junpei Matsumoto is disposable. A pawn. The Herald will deal death to him in the same manner as any other nameless victim. I see. But... More important than Junpei being killed is what we will discover in the aftermath. Explain. By knowing that Junpei is the next to be targeted, we can observe him and witness the Herald's killing method firsthand. Have to add it to you. This is a pretty fantastic plan. I know. A few things. You have doubts? Not doubts, exactly. Firstly, how do we know exactly when Junpei will be killed? I specifically requested the time of death. You can do that? The Human Removal Service demands it. Interesting. Second topic. What if you're wrong? What? What if the Herald isn't willing to kill his own ally? In that case, it will prove something important. It will prove that we are dealing with a complete amateur. Someone whose convictions could never reach the strength of corpse girls. Understood. Let's uncover the secrets behind the Human Removal Service. further in. Shh, keep your voice down. I'm just looking for a good vantage point that we can hide. <gasps> oh. Disappointing. Missed the main event. Mr. Hart. Kojiro, why did you do that? Tell us who you are. We deserve to know that much.
Shit. Not cut out a chaser. Don't bother. We won't catch up. Well, we didn't see the killing, but at least the request was granted. Should we leave the body? Mm. Going to send a text. Huh? Who are you messaging? See if I can pull a few strings. Wouldn't mind if the corpse ended up at my morgue. What are you planning? Nothing, really. Just want to prod and poke a bit. <sighs> Do what you want. I've gained as much from this as I had hoped. Goodbye, Junpei Matsumoto.
Interesting. Okay, I think I'm up to date. I guess it was a good thing you decided to prod and poke Junpei's corpse, as you put it. Guess so. I thought you were just being your usual morbid self, taking corpses for your own use, whatever that may be. Don't know what to tell you. Well, I'm glad you acted. Faking Junpei's death. What's their end goal? What did they really accomplish by pulling such a stunt? Obvious answer would be that they wanted to deceive us. Make us think we have the upper hand. I came to the same conclusion. They think they've fooled us. But we know better. Can we use that to our advantage? Don't know. Sometimes you're helpful, and other times you're just... What? Never mind. Okay. I don't know what we should do next. We're kind of at a dead end, right? Kind of. Corpse Girl's website has gone silent. No one is requesting deaths anymore. But, if I'm to believe the news, there are still dozens of people being killed all around the city. Which means, the Human Removal Service is still as active as ever. Don't beat yourself up. Don't have any cadavers at the morgue anyway. Can't exactly fulfill any requests. Can you let me know when the morgue starts filling up again? Sure. Hang on. There is one body there. Fake Junpei. <laughs> yeah. Not much use, though, I suppose. No, not really. Keep me updated. Okay. You look wrecked. Sorry. <sighs> Things are tough right now. It'll get better. You'll cause some death soon enough.
Want something to eat? Thanks, but... You know me. I know. Something like a salad? <sighs> I want to share a meal with you. I... I can't. Okay, I understand. We should get married. Huh? A few days ago, you said you'd be mine. Um... I told you something like that, yeah. But that had a condition. You had to kill Junpei. Hmm... Maybe there's something else I could do? Let me prove that I'm a man you can love. I'll think about it. Okay. Maybe you should get going for now. I need to sleep. Okay. Later. Bye, Kojiro.